Hi, this is Darman, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, as I turned my left, you see we uh, are working on the clock tower. Uh, yeah, the top of it's not on there yet, but we got a good chunk of this thing done. And this has only been two parts so far, and I, we might be able to finish it in this one. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the only thing I've done in between videos is I've had some torches, uh, so I want to give you the location of those, uh, and I will in just a minute. But first, I'm going to go to the Love Garden, because Bert and Ernie have added uh, someone over there. I just want to give them a little shout out here. And that, ooh, oh, look, I can sneak up on them. Oh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can sneak on them from above. Shh, be quiet. Oh, well, <laughs> Bert is always, he's the fastest one. He's always the one to, to spy me first. Ernie, eh, he doesn't always have uh, the biggest grasp on reality and uh, may not be the sharpest tool in the shed. Anyway, I've got uh, Nicholas Booth to add today. And Nicholas uh, pointed out that we need the uh, employee of the month sign in the uh, the tea time, and uh, not tea time, in the um, the clock shop. Uh, what is it called? Is that what it's called? The clock shop? The clock shop? The TikTok shop? <laughs> Phew, I just lost my mind there for a minute there. And uh, he's absolutely correct. I totally skipped out on trying to actually figure out what that was. I didn't even think about it. Uh, and then it goes actually right behind this uh, cash register here, uh, like this. And this is this is what it says, employee of the month stampy, just like that, uh, without any sort of punctuation. So uh, thank you very much, Nicholas. That's a big help uh, to get stuff like that. He actually gave me the video number and the exact time to look at uh, to see it and I, it was kind of like a shot just like almost just like this and it was a perfect shot so thank you Nicholas it's very helpful when you give um, that sort of uh, detail uh, so that I can easily find um, what it is that we need to change so we've got some torches and I did I did put the rest of my torches around the bottom here uh, and I've got torches all up the side and I've got them on the front here so I wanted to give you the locations of these uh, and we're gonna do this from we're gonna start from up here Woo! Oh, that was a little sickening. Okay. All right. There's not too many torches up here. And there's basically just one in the middle of each of the long segments, you know, on the sides of the clock here. And then there's four kind of in the middle. Uh, let's see. How do I explain where they actually are? Basically, uh, you know, at this point, just go one, two, three, four blocks over. And same with this one, just do four blocks. Uh, and then on this one, it's the bottom of the two. And one, two, three, four, and this one here, and one, two, three, four. Now, as uh, far as the torches go, uh, they go right over here. This is uh, down from the top here. We're going to just give you numbers, just like I kind of did over on the path when we put the torches. Oh, it's weird being up so high. Uh, okay, so this is on the uh, this is the second block from the top, and uh, that's number two. So it goes down to sixteen. That's that one, and number thirty that one and uh, next one is number 44 down and last one is 58 uh, which in other words is one two three four from the bottom and uh, well if th th this is as close as I can figure out that that they are if we, we're not really gonna get too hung up on on the location uh, unless it's some drastic mistake that I've made so this is where we left off up here uh, I did mention that I wanted to double check to make sure that this Oh, uh, yellow stuff wasn't doubled up, and it, it is not just. But this just the uh, clock hands are, are the only thing sticking out on the, this side. So let us begin. Uh, we're going to start. Um, for some reason, I like to start on this side. Uh, we're going to build one side of this. Is where we're going to start, and then you know I'm just going to have my. Y'all can just do the other two sides, and my you know invisible helper can do those, and uh, then we'll do the the top part. And then we'll do do the inside bit, and I, I'm not sure if we're gonna have time for all that, but we are gonna do our best because that would be awesome. If we did the hugest building in three videos, I would be thrilled. <laughs> I think you would be too. Anyway, let's just shut up about it and get to work, Darman. All right, so we can take our side. Doesn't matter which one. All three of these are exactly exactly the same. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. Uh, we are going to find the middle, which we know the middle is where the hole is. We're gonna go right all up. We're gonna bisect this straight up and down and then we're going to go left to right and just kind of make a a um you know big just cut this thing into four pieces like this uh because we know that this middle part here this yellow block of three that this is the middle block right there that 
top to bottom that is the middle block of this section or you can just count it and figure it out for yourself uh, so now we've got these uh, four sections and what we're going to do first is take some uh, half slabs of stone and right at the top we're just going to fill it in uh, two row two rows of it so it's like a full block of course uh, and then on each end we're going to grab some gray wool uh, where I put the heck I, there it is okay so on each end uh, under the first block or last block however you want to think of it just put one piece of gray wool there 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 and here and then in between we're gonna put uh, glass blocks that is not not glass panes and uh, then uh, okay so that's we're gonna leave that then we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom exact same thing uh, just going across and build double it up to make a full block and then we're going to add some gray blocks on the ends and then the windows uh, on the middle. This one there, this one there, this one here, and that one there. Uh, so then we can just make the swirly bits uh, in the middle. And uh, and then you guys can uh, do the other sides. These are all, like I said, exactly the same. Okay, so uh, the way to start these is to know that they all start from the far corners of each like you know now you've got these like nice little four corners that are easy to kind of fill in uh, the far corners in other words here the far lower right here and farthest from the center is what get in there the farthest from the center of this is really uh, what I'm getting at so we're gonna I'm just gonna temporarily just not temporarily but just sort of for the purposes of this uh, instruction just put those four in there so those four spots are where we're going to start the swirl and every time you make one you're going to head you're going to start at that spot and you're going to head towards the center post and then you're going to go towards the center of this so you're going to head in this direction so if you're down here you're going to be heading towards the center post this way and going up towards this middle and then kind of around but you'll see i'll give you a full a full view of it once it's all done uh so let's just start uh let's just start at the top here all right, so since since this is where we are, so this is uh, so wherever you start, you're gonna fill up that first whole row with with uh, yellow wool, and then you're gonna come straight. In this case, we're going down, straight down, fill it all the way. That piece of cake. Uh, now we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go one short and fill in that last one with gray, and then we're gonna put two blocks of yellow on top of that. And we're going to put one block of gray on top of those two. We're going to go to the right of this, add four blocks of yellow, one block of gray, and then one block of yellow underneath. So it's got this whole swirl, just goes around and around and around. And then we just fill in the rest with gray. Piece of cake. There we go. All right, so that's one quadrant done. Uh, so you can see, I, I probably should have explained while, you know, I was adding gray blocks, which might have seemed weird, but that just makes it easier to attach the uh, the yellow blocks. So that's it. So we're going to uh, do that. We'll do it one more time, and then we'll just let the my helper fill in the rest. All right, so we're going to start at the top right corner this time. We're going to head towards the middle, or uh, up and down middle, and then we're going to head towards the full middle of this area all the way down. So those are full rows of uh, orange, orange yellow wool and we're gonna go all the way over here but stay with short one put a gray block there put two yellow ones on top one gray on top of that and then we're gonna put four red uh, yellow blocks wow I have really had some some color problems in my brain today I guess and uh, so a gray block on the end of that and then of course a yellow right under that right Okay, so now I'll just go back and uh, fill in. This is good. This is really easy to do on <laughs> Creative. Boy, I, I remember watching Sampy's video, and it's 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 hard to follow as he does it, but it, it all makes perfect sense if you kind of stand back and look at it. So uh, I am going to let my helper uh, finish the rest of this. Okay, all right. Let's just double check this here. Uh, swirls that way, swirls, swirls, swirls in the correct direction. Okay, looks good. All right, so uh, then at this point, what we want to do is just uh, since we did the torches everywhere else, uh, the torches are going to go in these gray spots. Yeah, here, uh, and then in the middle, and in this gray block here, one block away. And uh, oh, there's in the middle of this whole thing, there's a um, block of uh, glowstone right there. And then on each side, right under these, uh, on each side we're gonna put one torch here 
and over here and the uh, torches at the exact at the top are gonna be the exact same spot as they are on the bottom uh, whoops except I just missed that one so that should be that should be it that is one side completely done and uh, yeah okay perfect all right good all right so uh, now <laughs> I'm gonna leave you to go ahead and finish the other two and uh, I am going to make them appear and I will see you in just one second Man, don't you guys wish you had a helper that did you did that just poofed stuff in like that? That's awesome. I love that. Uh, okay, all right. So we got three sides done up here, and uh, well, actually, all four sides are done right now. I can count to four. One, two, three, four. I can count to four. Yay. Okay. So uh, in here, hmm, do we want to do that? Mm, ah, do I want to do the little tunnel that goes up? Let's say yes. Let's do it. All right. Grab your gray wool. And uh, first thing we're going to do is just uh, we're going to build it all the way around here. And we'll, we'll worry about the, where the door goes in a minute. Uh, just build it straight up until it's even with, uh, the, you know, the top of this. This should, you know, don't connect it, though, but uh, it should be even with that. So let's just go around and, uh, and f bring that all the way up around on all, all sides of this. Okay, now there's a yellow stripe that goes around. Actually, there's two yellow stripes uh, that go around this. So here, here's here's how you know where to start. There's two spots to start, and uh, if you're, uh, I want you to to point at the shaft with your clock. The clock should be on your left. Go to this top right one here and make that yellow, and make this one yellow also over here on that opposite corner. So those are the two spots where we're going to start. And basically, you're just going to go down to the and just go down and to the left. And put a block you know, down to the left. Put oops. Put a block down to the left. Put and just keep wrapping all the way around. Follow the pattern, and it will naturally lead to the bottom. And then when you get to the bottom for this one, go back to this top one here that hasn't. Oh no, no, that's we already started that one. This one which hasn't been started, and then this one will uh, just simply kind of parallel that one all the way down. So you'll have stripes going all the way down. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, all right, so that is that tower and then this top part here We just want to fill this in with more sandstone, which I don't have on me, but that's okay I'll just, uh, just kind of pull back here and just let my helper fill that in Yay handy helper. Okay. All right, so now that's done and no, we don't have any ladders in there yet We'll, we'll get to that. Oh, look, you can see clouds down in the in the tunnel. That's 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 not good uh, Okay, so the top part um, let's see how much we can, this we can get done. We need, we're going to need some, uh, we're going to alternate stairs and, um, stone brick, just like we did way down here. It's going to be exactly like this, the exact same pattern. You're going to start in the corner, uh, with the stone, and then it's just going to alternate stone and stair, stone, stair, stone, stair, all the way around. And the next level goes up. Again, you start with the stone, go to the stair, blah, 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 all the way around. The exact same thing, except it's going to be a total of five levels. Oh, it takes forever to fly up here. I'm just going to... Ugh, ugh, oh, sorry. That wasn't very good. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to just start with that. And you can do this however you want. You know, I kind of like to do this because it, I don't know, keeps it flowing a little more. Oops. And, and then I... Oh, man, I messed up. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back. I need my helper. Where's my helper? <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. let's go here. Let's go there. There we go. That straightens that out. Uh, so yeah, you can do this however you want. Uh, when we get to the second level, though, that you know, that's of course where it gets a little. Oh, I could have left that one there. Uh, that's what gets you know a little trickier when you um, you know, have to float these things in the air. So you don't want to fill this area, you know, area in in here. Uh, I, I when I do it, I what I do is I um. I temporarily put a row of blocks to make it easy to, to put the everything on. Um, so let's see. Well, let's finish this row here. Uh, but put all the stairs in between all these blocks. And uh, so in order to put the next row up, you know me, I like to use like diamond or something that stands out so that you don't you know it's not supposed to be there in the end. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just go around the edge, put one down, uh, so that way I can easily go and. Um, you know, just plop them down because of the stairs, especially they can, they can get kind of fussy when you start trying to float them in the air. So that way you can just easily go back and forth like this and, you know, something along those lines. Then I just go back in uh, and destroy 
what I put in there, that's the uh, diamond block. I'm destroying all this lovely diamond. Okay, so um, we are going to allow my helper to finish. Uh, this is going to be the second row. So the first row is here. So it's going to be a total of five. So let's uh, let's see the other ones. All right, so we've got now we have five levels. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Each one, each one goes in one block. And, uh, yep, this place is just going to stay empty like that. That's no problem. So now our opening should be, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should be nine by nine at this point. So now uh, we have uh, three, no, a total of four more levels to go up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So let's see how we want to do this. All right, I'm going to start with yellow. Each of the levels is three blocks high. Now, in this case, uh, we have to start, we have to put something down in order to, you know, put something on top of it. And we can just go ahead and get rid of that. So we're just going to do one, two, three in each corner. Uh, well, I guess technically I'm going to be doing four, but obviously I'm going to be getting rid of that bottom one. We don't need that one here. Let's see. Uh, one, two, oops. Uh, two, no, two, no, <laughs> two, three, four. No, four. Oh boy. Can't get help, good help these days. I, I'm telling you what. All right, get rid of that one. Did I get rid of this one? No, I did not get rid of that one. All right, so, uh, all right, so then I just need, oh, I just need some regular, whoops, need some regular stone bricks, which, oh, I don't need my windows anymore. Uh, so, yeah, so this is going to be three blocks high. Uh, just attach these on here, just exactly the way you think you're supposed to. Oops. Oh, I'm not flying anymore. I must fly. I'm, I must fly. Okay, so we're going to do that. And uh, so just duplicate that for the other three sides. And then we're going to put a uh, row of half slabs right on here. Uh, I, I was tempted to just to save the half slabs until we're completely done the top part and just kind of add them in sort of the uh, uh, masonry icing to this area. But um, that actually helps to have these on here for the next step because uh, now that we have this first layer, we're going to add two more layers just like it. Each one is just one block in on each side. Uh, and since we have these half slabs here, we can put the first of the three blocks right there. That way uh, you'll, you'll only see the half of the first block, and that's normal. Uh, and then you'll see two sticking up above it. So that is how you want to have each corner. And then let's go ahead. Whoops. <laughs> Not like that at all. Uh, so go ahead and just do you know, all four corners that way. And uh, then just the same exact way, just fill in the rest of them with brick. And then we just add one more layer. So we're just going to use our, well, the main, all right, one more regular layer, and then there's the part where the ladder goes. It's a really small, small layer. It's not even, not even going to ask for any help from my invisible helper for that one. Uh, but for this one, let's go ahead and put this, the rest of this on. And let's see if so. The top section, uh, again, all these are three blocks high. Uh, now this one gets a little cramped, but this is where the ladder goes. So it doesn't need to be any bigger than this. Uh, I'm bumping into things here. Uh, so we just need one strip of bricks in the middle. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure where I am so I can put the door on the right side. The correct side, that is. Uh, okay, so facing the town, of course. Look how nice our town looks from up here. We built all that. <laughs> That's all nice. I like that. It looks really great. Uh, so here, we just want to put one brick block on the middle. And we're going to leave these two open. Uh, this is where the door is going to go. And uh, let's see. We're going to put our half slabs on top of this. Here, here. Oops. No, no. Not there. There and here. So we want to bridge that uh, top of the door What's going to be there. Uh, and then we're going to use our yellow. And we're going to uh, get three more blocks here. One, two, three. And then a piece of glowstone right on top. And uh, we want to make sure that that yellow should be showing just like that. Uh, underneath and let's see then we just need a door for the top here I guess I don't need that gray wool anymore boom there we go uh, yep yeah, there we go so uh, in, in the uh, let's see what video was that it was the um, where they climb up you know there's a race to the clock where they get to the top and they have to actually put this piece of glowstone on uh, you'll see don't don't be fooled by what you see there though there be some extra pieces of slab and so forth uh, those were put in for the purposes of so he could put in, you know, all the um, pistons and so forth because he, you know, obviously can't put something on 
top of a half slab so but this is how it's supposed to look uh, the only thing left to do up here is to uh, put on some torches uh, and basically what we do is um, they go on each top corner of these where the yellow is and on each side so I'm just gonna go down we're gonna do one side and then just let my helper come in and finish up the rest uh, okay so there's that's that and then so on the, the other torches go on the corners uh, so there's one on the middle and the one at the top and the bottom and then right in the middle we have to find the middle again there's only two places you can put torches uh, because of the way the pattern is uh, so then again on the corners uh, those three the top bottom and middle like that and uh, so that's the torches for the top part and uh, I'm gonna let my helper put the rest of them on okay there we get look at them they look just popped right in there um, all right so we've got torches all over the sucker we got the glowstone at the top uh, what we don't have is a completed ladder section inside and we also need uh, the tea shop of course uh, and there's a few details uh, within the tower itself and well here's what it looks like on the inside oh I guess we can go in well you know what let's just um go in and establish where that doorway is this is gonna that's the easiest way to you know what <laughs> it, I'm just gonna you know what I'm just gonna go in here this should be easy enough to find this is gonna get kind of dark here I'm just gonna put a torch here so I can at least see something here okay here we go uh, I think I might think I'm facing the front that's all right we'll figure it out right at the bottom of this stuff here let me just put a torch here um, hmm okay should be right here yep here we go all right and we're facing the clock good all right so that is our our entrance way I just went to the bottom of where the uh, the gray stopped and, and that's where our our entrance is so here we go we are in here this is all uh, ready to go clean uh, we are not going to get to it in this video uh, but uh, we should have no problem whatsoever knocking this out fairly quickly in the next one uh, So in the next one, we're going to finish here. We're going to finish this shaft here. We have uh, some torches We have to add uh, here and there inside there. Uh, we're going to do this room, which um, is pretty darn easy uh, the, the biggest time consumption is uh, filling up all the little chests and putting signs on them and stuff um, we've already done the outside okay all right well let's um, let's just do that I don't, don't want to go too long here without uh, winding up so let me just turn around here and I'll finish up my video here I'm Darman 68 thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye